or transparent. You and I crafted this language from what was previously proposed in order to add the verbiage for bonds. You recall that, I'm sure. I do recall Okay, it. so we specifically proposed changes to make this charter amendment more transparent, and then we all, as a council, voted on it. Now, if your position is that you think that the alternative motive to this charter amendment is so that a, quote, stadium can be built on, out in the Western expansion, um, I can tell you from my perspective, that is not why this is being done. Now, does it allow us to enter into private public partnerships? So does the amendment. I so did not, the I did not interrupt you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. It allows us to enter into public private partnerships. It also allows us to enter into certain leases via public private partnerships that we could not previously enter into, specifically that were over 36 months long. Now, with regards to, so can that be used for a potential sports complex that we have done a lot of research on and looked at and seen that it will bring hundreds of millions of sports stores and dollars into our community? Yes, we have done research on that. Matter of fact, public record shows a sports tourism report that shows both passive and active dollars that that can bring into our community. I am a very big proponent of that opportunity because I, from the moment I took this seat, I've been pushing for commercial development and economic development. Now, Ooh. it is it is a concern for me that you are throwing up a red flag about a sports complex when you've approved every single residential zoning variance that has come before this board and increased dwelling units. This is an opportunity to invest in commercial in our community that will bring dollars back into the community. First of all, secondly. Shake your head all you want. That's the truth. It's not. It's not. If, if, if it's not. we go out to borrow monies, we have to prove that we can pay it back, just like any other loan that we enter into. Yeah. Just like any other loan. So we have to prove a credit rating. We have to prove that we have the ability, whether that's through monies that are coming into the community, through sports stores, and whatever else it may be, taxes specifically bank taxes, all of these things that this can be a catalyst for, we can't borrow unless we can prove that. So it's not a, a blank check that we can just write. It's not. You are acting ignorant right now. I'm sorry. You are Excuse acting me. ignorant. You'll have your chance. You'll have your chance. Sorry, I just insulted you. Yes, yes, you, yes no, you I am. I'm going to hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I am going to stop this meeting, well, which is my prerogative. You can stop I'm it. not going to stop this. You can stop it. I will. I will. And, and so, so part my like words, that. I will absolutely stop this okay. meeting. Well, then, this is I did not insult her. Yes, you did. I, I did it. I didn't call you right. a name. She's speaking. Well, she's no, 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 no. She insulted me again. I'm not going to stop. Fine. You know what? But by saying that we all agreed on something because we want to, that we want to take out money against the, the children of this community's future, what we're doing. No, it's not. That is an incorrect statement. You that is an incorrect statement. You attended a meeting let's, in Michael Chimento's office. Let's, let's, yes, every let's, council member let's, let's did. This I was informed at that meeting. Vice Mayor, or no. That meeting, Vice Mayor, you don't have the floor. Vice Mayor, I'm going to stop the damn meeting in a second. Let the councilwoman finish her comments, then you'll have your turn. Okay, not both at the same time. Councilman Pontieri, please complete your comments. I will directly answer your question. I cannot speak for anybody else, but with regards to what the plans are for the westward expansion that are not set in stone, by the way, um, yes, I think we all have had those meetings. But to say that this is specifically, be, this allows us to do that, you are correct, but that is not why it's being done. So to convey that to the community, you are misrepresenting what this is doing. And that it's dangerous, Councilman. It's dangerous what you're doing. And it, yes, it is, because you're misrepresenting something that is simply not true. We have to apply as any other borrower for credit would have to apply. We are not sure. immune from that. You, may, you got the point. Yeah, you got the point. I will apologize for calling you Thank ignorant. You. I will say the statements that are being made are an ignorant. They're my opinion. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait. Council Hold on, should I can no, respond? No, 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 no. And I'm willing to Okay, you've I had your turn. Said, I, next. Said, I, I will get to you when I'm ready. Really? Yes. Yeah, ready. You know what? Or you know where the door is. You, you know where the door is. You know where the door, door is. Right. Right. No, I think I'll also say the Councilman Lufus, do you have comments? We're on public comment. Do you have any comments regarding 
today's public comment. I don't think change the speed of the size is going to slow anybody down, Mr. Gunez. You know, I, I got to tell you, I don't think that change the speed of the size is slow anybody down. Uh, besides that, no, I'm going to take that. My, my All right, Vice right. Mayor, I will come back to you. I don't want any oh, I, Hold on, just a minute, just a minute. I don't want anyone to interrupt the Vice Mayor. He has an opinion. Thank Let you. him go for it, and then after that, we'll complete we will decide to do it. And I was told at that meeting, and I assume you were told the same thing I was, that if we didn't approve these bonds, the company building the stadium would exit and leave the Westward Experience. And that's what I was told, and that's now what's changed my mind. Okay. I yeah. don't like something like that hanging over us, that if we don't approve $90 million to build that stadium, they're going to lose that company, and it's all going to fall apart. $90 million of your money. Okay. And that's what concerns me. So yes, I am changing my opinion okay. on this with new information. And I urge this that's council, your okay. I urge this council to rewrite this language in such a way that it tells you honestly what they are doing. And they are basically removing a one a fifteen million dollar cap on bonds okay. and a thirty-six month payback on bonds and replacing it with an unlimited, unspecified, undefined okay. you've, amount. You've made and your me, comment. I you said I could fade it on an so I am going to yeah, speak no, no, no. on an Three times is enough. No, 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 so no, finish no. up. See the fresh. That's finish up, up folks. Finish, finish up. up. Finish up your comment. He's afraid. Vice Mayor, are you finished? And I'm sorry, I'm not going to be on board okay. with this at all. All right, right. we understand. To know uh, about it. Council is Pontieri is deceptive and see. disingenuous, and, 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 and it's disgusting, right. folks. Vice Mayor, in case, case nobody up here gets it. Doesn't help. In case doesn't nobody help up here gets it. Okay. You voted us all out. And this is one of the reasons why. Okay. And so I want you to know I hear your voice, I hear what you're saying. So I am now speaking out against this, and I'm going to fight like hell to make sure if this gets on the ballot with this fraudulent language, I'm going to be out there fighting like hell to defeat this. Vice Mayor, you made your comment. Thank you. made your point. We understand. Uh, Council Pontier, last track here. Yeah, so um, I was not given that information that you say you were told about any company that would be well, in. I was. Uh, clearly, you just said that, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, letting the public, I'm letting the public know that I was not told that. Um, I have no issue readdressing the amendment language. What I have an issue with is not doing due diligence and research prior to a very important vote, which I think is kind of rampant um, by some on this board. So I, you know, the, the research should have been done before the vote, not afterwards, um, for whatever reason. Yeah. But I, I will say, I have been sent proposed language. I'm happy to share it with my colleagues. Um, and it does mention the fifteen thousand dollars. It does mention the thirty fifteen million. I'm sorry, you're right. Fifteen million dollars. It does mention the thirty six months. Um,